Hey, teachers. Playing games is a necessary part of teaching English, no doubt about it. And just like young learners, adults love to play games, also no doubt about it. However, games that work with kids might not probably work best with adults. So, I gathered five vocab slash speaking activities with the power of categories. Let's go. Activity one is the new to truths one lie featuring categories. Pick a category or a topic. I always start it off with food. Students must come up with three food related sentences about them. Two options are supposed to be true and one false. Students take turns guessing which of the facts are true and which false. Then you can move on to another topic. Students write three other sentences and then start guessing. I've always loved two truths and a lie. Students get to share little pieces of information about themselves without being too pressure to do so and at the same time it's just a great speaking practice the second activity is never have i ever featuring categories as well it's one of the funniest and easiest speaking games for adults students have to come up with some strange or even ridiculous sentences on a certain topic starting each of them with never have i ever again we'll go with food first students take turns expressing their experience with food like never have i ever eaten bacon before or never have i ever had fish for breakfast make sure to encourage the class to ask some follow-up questions to kind of have interesting and amusing conversations the third activity is 30 second story and yep you guessed it with categories this activity consists of two stages stage one is where all students have only 30 seconds to write down three words that fit within a specific category for instance your lesson is about the house so on a piece of paper each student has to write three words related to it as soon as the 30 seconds are over collect the cards and ask each student to write randomly pick one card. Students have a couple of minutes to compose a 30 second story using these three words. I sometimes like to ask them to make this story personal. For example, talk about these three words in your own life. I really enjoy this activity. It's quite engaging and offers a little bit of a challenge. Activity four is Desert Island. If you're unfamiliar with the concept of Desert Island, it's an excellent speaking game where each student has to choose three items they would want to have with them if they were stranded on a desert island. The items can be anything, but they have to explain why they chose them and how they would help them survive on the island. This game can also be played with variations such as choosing three people or three songs, three meals, three pieces of clothes, three gadgets, three books. I mean, you can pick any category and still have great answers. This activity is an interesting way to practice speaking, critical thinking, and creativity while also learning about students' preferences and priorities. Last but certainly not least, the greatest ever. First, choose a category. Should we go back to food? It's been a minute. Let's go with food then. Divide your class into pairs and write on the board food items that are the same number of these pairs. For example, if you have 10 pairs, write 10 different food items. Without any explanation, ask each pair to pick an item. Then tell them that they have to explain why their item isn't as important as some of the others on the board. At the and as a class we try to vote for the three greatest food items ever you can definitely repeat it with different categories choosing other 10 items i love this activity so much because it creates controversy and a lot of room for discussion that's pretty much it if you're looking for additional games worksheets or even slides my tbt store has almost everything you need i'll keep the link in the description thank you for being with me today i'll see you next time